I built this temporary wall in the shop to explain how to hang a door using the SAS hinge system. I'm hanging a door that measures 32 by 80 inches and is an inch and three quarters thick. I'll be using the 218 hinge and the three hinge application. To install the hinge, I'm using the 218 router guide, which I'm assembling right now. A straight bit in the router, a lock nut and bushing for the base of your router, and you can get all of that from SAS. To assemble the router guide, refer to the detailed instructions provided with the jig. It's helpful to take a minute and secure the door in position. Now I'll place the jig on the door with the location pins tight against the door front. Turn the spacer tab 90 degrees and pull the jig until the spacer tab hits the top of the door. And next I'll tack the jig in place. I'm removing the guide pins and next I'll set the depth of the router to create the shallow mortise. The depth of the shallow mortise is the critical measurement, more so than the deep mortise. To find the depth of the shallow mortise, refer to the template that comes with the hinge. For the 218, the depth of the shallow mortise is 13 30 seconds. Now that I've finished with the shallow mortises on the door, I removed the finishing nails holding the jig in place. I'll take the jig and place it against the jam with the location pins tight against the jam and the spacer tab tight against the header. Before I attach the jig to the jam, I wanted to mention it's really important to attach the jam and the buck stud with your fasteners in the center instead of staggering them from left to right. That way you'll avoid hitting them with the router bit. Notice as I remove the jig from the door, I'll rotate it so the writing or the stickers on the jig will be against the jam when I tack it in place. Now I'm ready to route the shallow mortise in the jam. With all the shallow mortises cut, next I'll replace the guide pins, reset the depth of the router, and then cut all the deep mortises. With all the deep mortises cut into the jam, I'll remove the jig and place it back on the door. Again, I'll place the jig on the door in the same position as when I cut the shallow mortise. And now I'm ready to cut the deep mortise in the door. Here I'm using a self-centering drill bit to pre-drill holes for the screws.
Okay, well that went really smooth. And this is one of those things where the more you do it, the better you get. So just take your time on the first one and you'll have no problem. I did want to talk a little bit about the buck stud. The buck stud extends a half of an inch beyond the wall stud or whatever your wall covering is going to be. So if you're using half inch sheetrock, your buck stud would extend a half inch beyond your wall stud flush with the jam and then you would sheetrock right up to the buck stud and that's there to house the hinge. If you have any questions on this project, leave them in the comments and I will do a follow up video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.